Hi everyone. So it's about half past two in the afternoon, and、uh, I had my lunch about an hour ago. I had some creamy, sticky noodles. They were absolutely delicious, and I'm so glad many of you are enjoying them as much as I do. And now I'm after some dessert. I'm really in the dessert mood. So this is something I make on a regular basis. So I'm going to make chia pudding with homemade Nutella. Just the sound of that, you know, it's going to be gorgeous. And it is okay. So I'm going to prepare the chia seed. So in my bowl, I'm going to add in about six tablespoons of chia seed. It's roughly under half a cup, five, six. And I'm going to add in some liquid. So I've got some almond milk here. You can use any kind of vegan milk. I've also got some coconut cream. You can just use the milk alone. But I like to mix half of the coconut cream. It just makes everything more creamy. So I'm going to mix half and half. So here's my plant milk. So we need about three cups of the mixture, and then the coconut cream as well. I've got some already open here, and I'm going to add in a dash of vanilla extract, and then two tablespoons of ground flaxseed. So this will make the texture really silky smooth. So I'm using golden flaxseed, and then some sweetener of your choice. So you can use any sweetener you like. I'm using a risotto, so I'm going to just add in. About one and a half tablespoons, and then give it a mix. It's thickening already. Great. And now I'm going to just cover it, and I'm going to pop in the fridge for about half an hour to an hour minimum, and it'll be ready. And then I'm going to make some Nutella. So I've got a jar here that I made a few days ago, but I want to show you how to make it, and it's so easy and so worth it. It beats anything that you buy in the shops. So I've got my baking tray here, and I place a layer of baking sheet on top. And I've got about 300 grams of hazelnuts here, so it's about two cups. You don't have to be super precise. They're unroasted, unsalted. So make sure you get the right ones. And all I'm going to do is to pop my hazelnuts on the baking tray and spread it out a little bit. And then I'm going to pop them in 180 degree. Preheat oven for about ten to fifteen minutes. So here we go. The smell of roasted hazelnut is just heavenly. You have to experience it. So the reason we're roasting the hazelnut is to release all the flavors, but also to help us to remove the skin. So there's nothing fundamentally wrong with the skin, but it's slightly bitter. So I think it makes better Nutella if we remove the skin. So you can remove the skin by wrapping them with a kitchen towel and just rub against them. But I find that a little bit messy, so I like to use a colander. So obviously you want to leave the nuts to cool a little bit before you do this. But you want to do it while the nuts are still warm. So I'm going to pop some into my bowl and then just rub them like this. So see the skin will start to fall off, and you can rub them in your palms. Okay, so the skin is mostly gone, and some of them will still have skin attached, and I'm totally fine with that. And I've got a bowl here, sitting on top of a bowl of hot water underneath, and I'm going to break my chocolate bar. So I've got about ninety grams of dark unsweetened chocolate, and these are hundred percent cacao. And if you don't want to use chocolate bars, you can replace it with two to three tablespoons of raw cacao powder. That works too. And now we're going to blitz the nuts in a food processor. Until they turn into butter. So here's my hazelnuts. Lid on and blitz. Let's have a look. Beautiful. So initially, it's going to turn the nuts into crumbs, and you kind of go, "Is it going to turn into butter? Is it going to turn into butter?" And、uh, it will. If you leave it for a few more minutes, and now it's lovely and creamy. So in my butter, I'm going to add some sweetener. So I've got some erythritol here, but I'm using the icing version, so it's much finer. Because I find the granulated one that I use on a regular basis、um, sometimes doesn't dissolve properly, so I'm using the icing one. So I'm going to add in just a couple of tablespoons here, and then a dash of vanilla extract and a small pinch of salt, roughly about. Quarter teaspoon, I think. So this will accentuate the sweetness. And then my chocolate. So it's been melted completely. So I'm going to just pull the whole thing in, and lid on again, and blitz.
so lovely and creamy. And this is it. This is our Nutella done. And I'm going to transfer my beautiful Nutella into a jar for storage. So what I've got here is a 250 ml jar, I believe, and it should fit perfectly. So what I'm going to do just to get everything into this jar. Oh, look at how creamy that is. So lovely, the smell, my God. Hazelnut and chocolate is just made in heaven. Beautiful. And then just keep it airtight. So if you keep it in the room temperature, somewhere cool, it would be good for at least two or three weeks, no problem. And make sure you use clean spoon each time you take the butter out and uh, it should be fine. And now let's make the pudding. And let's see how our chia seed is doing. Cool, it's nice and thick. Okay, so I've got my pudding jar here. I'm going to scoop in some of this lovely and gooey chia seed. And I've got some lovely berries here, washed and dried. And I'm going to pop in a few of these beautiful raspberries. Just so fun to do as well. And I've got some almond yogurt here. So it's really lovely and creamy. You can use coconut cream if you want. So I'm going to just drizzle some of this beautiful yogurt on top. So this is unsweetened, but then it's going to be mixed with Nutella. And then our Nutella that we just made. I'm going to just give it a nice scoop. It's so luxurious. And then a bit more chia seed on top. And then some blueberries. And maybe another dollop of the yogurt. I mean, it's totally up to you how you want to do it how many layers you want to create. And then another layer of Nutella. And then some more berries on top. This is so luxurious. And just in case it's not luxurious enough, I've got some chopped nuts to go on top, a few flakes. So there you go. There's my beautiful chia seed pudding. So gorgeous. And by the way, this jar from Kilna it comes with a lid as well. So if you can't finish it or you want to take it to work as lunch, you can just put the lid on. So it's really handy. And let's eat. I'm going to just go straight down. Oh, lovely gooey mess. Just the way I like it. Mmm. Oh my God. So creamy. The Nutella. Berries and the nuts. Oh my God. So I normally just make a few jars like this and keep it in the fridge and eat it whenever I want. And this is so delicious and such a great source of protein as well. And as I said, if I can't finish it, I just put the lid on and eat it a bit later. It's just really convenient. If you want to make it even more desserty, you can have some chocolate shaving on top and toasted coconut flakes. It also works beautifully. So I hope you like my pudding today, this beautiful chia seed pudding and my homemade Nutella. They really go together. So follow me on Instagram if you haven't already and check out my Amazon shop. And if you like what I'm doing, you can buy me a coffee via buymeacoffee.com. The link is down below. So thanks for hanging out with me today and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <music>